to show you my two Lego minifigure displays. I've got two displays and they each have 400 minifigures on. I don't collect minifigures for the sake of collecting. I don't play with the minifigures but I collect the minifigures so that I can make displays. And the displays to me are like art. And I put them in my house like pieces of art. I honestly don't know how many minifigures I have. As I didn't like a lot of the minifigures that came out in the different series, I've also gained a lot of minifigures between Lego that I've bought my son and he gives me the minifigures and just sets that I've bought myself for the uh, Lego mechs that I built. I've, I've also given away a ton of minifigures because I didn't like the Simpsons series, I didn't like the uh, Disney series. So there were just some figures that I just gave to random people. Um, I, I also have a ton of duplicates because you, in the beginning when I was collecting, I didn't know what you'd get inside the packets. Sometimes I bought figures that I didn't know I already had. I think though, all in all, between the two displays and what I've got in the drawer, I'm getting pretty close to 1,000 figures. I started collecting minifigures back in 2013 when a friend of mine, Ford, shout out to Ford, he was an avid collector of comic book guys and superheroes. I think, I don't know, you'll shout at me, but it's superheroes. And he had this great collection of things and he just encouraged me to go after my ambition to actually build Lego displays, as I'd shown him, which I'd found on Pinterest, which I just fell in love with. So he encouraged me back in 2013, and I've been collecting ever since. I started collecting the minifigures in the little packets, um, which were the series, but then I very quickly jumped on eBay. But you get some dodgy minifigures that are not legit Lego minifigures. So then I jumped onto Bid or Buy, which is the local kind of eBay, and I, I collected a lot there. And then whenever I've traveled around the world, so in London, I went to the Lego store there. In New York, I went to a couple of the Lego stores there. And then in South Africa recently, uh, about a year ago, they opened a, a, a mini, a Lego, an official Lego store, and I've gotten a few figures there. But I get most of my collections now from a toy store in Benoni called Pops Toys. Shout out to Pops. They always get me all the series that I want, all the specific figures I want as they're released. They always call me up and tell me they've got the whole series and they sort it out, they fill in the bags, and they give me a complete set if I want it. I bolstered my collection the most while I lived in Hong Kong where toys are in abundance and they tend to get toys way ahead of everybody else so they released a lot of the series while I was there and they had these stores where you can go and buy individuals and if you shop around you can get some really good deals in Hong Kong. Just a quick fun fact, my Lego minifigures were used by an agency who created a video to enter into a YouTube competition, which was all about appealing to Lego to build a series, um, which they entitled the Legacy series, which featured legends like Nelson Mandela. And they did a tribute to him and they entered it. And of course they won. If you have further questions, Feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.
and stay cool.